Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name's Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about partials in Hexo. Partials are basically ways that you can define different components in your site inside of their own HTML files, or in this case, EJS files. So imagine that we wanted to define a header for our website, and this header was going to go on every single page of our website. Well, using partials, I could create a header.ejs file. I could store all the code for that header inside that file. And then when I wanted to use that header on one of my layouts, all I'd have to do is just insert it into those layouts. But the code for the header would be contained in its own file. And that's good for scalability and maintaining the modularity of your website. So over here on my layout.ejs uh, file, imagine I wanted to include a header in here. So what I can do is go over and in this layouts folder, I can create a, another folder called partial. And inside the partial folder, I can put any partials that I want. So in our case, let's make a partial and we'll call it header.ejs. So inside of this header.ejs file, we can put all of the code that we want to use for our header file. Let's just make a h1 and inside we'll just put Mike's website. And then maybe we can put like a horizontal rule and a break tag. Okay. This is like the world's simplest website title uh, header ever. So I'll save this file. And now how can we get this header to go inside of our layout.ejs file? The way that we can do it is by inserting the partial. So we want to use a particular piece of hexo code and you're just going to type out uh, less than sign, percent sign, and then a hyphen. And then we're going to type partial. And inside of these parentheses, we just want to type partial forward slash header. And this is just the location of the partial. And then I want to end off that tag as well. So now what's going to happen is when I load up my website over here, it's going to go into this partials folder. It's going to go into this header file and it's going to insert all the file, all the code from that file into this layout. So when I refresh the page, you'll notice that Mike's website header shows up. So we've officially been able to insert this partial into our template. And what's cool is that you can insert, you can use this line of code to insert this header into as many layouts as you want. And then when you want to update the header, all you have to do is update it in one spot. You just have to update it in this header.ejs file. You don't have to change any of the files that are including that header. So there's also another thing that you can do that makes partials more powerful, and that's you can pass variables and values into those partials. So in here in this partial template, inside of these parentheses, I want to make a comma and we're going to pass in a value. So I'm just going to pass in a value called title and this can be called whatever you want it to be called. And then I'm going to give it a value of let's just say hello world, right? So inside of these parentheses, we're passing in into this partial a variable called title. And then from inside the partial, we can access that variable. So inside this header, instead of saying Mike's website, let's just spit out what that title was that was passed in. So I'm going to do a less than sign, a percent sign, and I'm going to do an equal to sign. And we just want to type out the name of the variable. So it's just going to be title. And then we'll end off this tag just like that. And so now when I go over to my website, instead of saying Mike's website, it's going to say what that title was. So it'll say hello world. And this is a really powerful attribute because these headers can now take input from the layouts on our site. So another thing that we could do would be instead of passing in a title, we could also pass in like a CSS at, or, or yeah, CSS attribute. So inside these style tags, you could pass in, for example, like a specific color. And so now instead of controlling the header, and I'm just going to give that a, a default header. Now we can control the color of this header from inside this layout. So instead of hello world, I'll just pass in a color. Um, let's say blue. And now when we refresh this page, you'll notice that I've changed the color. So I've changed a CSS attribute of uh, this header. So I could change it to whatever I wanted. Um, so for example, we could do red. 
So different layouts could use this partial and they could change the color of the header depending on which layout you're in. And you know, you can do unlimited amount of things uh, using this technique, but the point is, is that partials allow your website to be more modular and they just make for a lot cleaner code and they're really useful when you wanna just include a chunk of code into one of your layouts. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.